So we're back in compost toilet land. The uh, fan on the black tank vent was a little much. It circulated, even though as slow as I could run the fan, seemed to circulate a little too much air and sometimes we would get smells outside because there was so much coming out of that vent if it settled down, you know, around the camper. So we disabled that. But then if we run a fan inside the camper, like one of the roof mats or the stove hood fan, it would cause a negative pressure and pull gases up through the black tank on our P-tube. So we need a valve. We need to close that off. We were putting just a sink plug in the diverter hole, um, which helped. But you could still overcome that with a fan on the inside. So my solution now is going to be to add this gate valve. I'm going to put it at the bottom of the uh, pipe down here. I'm going to have to cut that pipe, put that in there, and then adjust my height a little bit. And I'm going to have to make a hole in the front of the cabinet here for this valve to stick out of that we can pull it without having to dig into the cabinet and everything. I'd like to have it sticking out the front. So I'm going to figure out exactly where that hole needs to be, make the hole and glue this all back together, get it back in place. I'm going to have to completely take that cover off to be able to do a nice job of it. And we'll uh, tackle that and I'll keep you posted how it goes step by step. So I have the pipe removed from the black tank and I've sketched on with a bunch of measurements of where this thing's gonna end up and is gonna go through the hole. So I have the sketch there. I'm gonna drill a couple holes with a drill bit and then using that as a guide from the outside, I will try and get a jigsaw in there and jigsaw it out and hopefully the hole's in the right place. Okay, so I've jigsawed the hole in the cabinet and I did it the size of this part here, which that piece doesn't really need to fit all the way through, but the handle does and the handle's not removable. So I just did it that size. Yeah, so I cut the pipe off. I ABS cemented the valve to the base fitting here and hopefully at the right angle. I need to now silicone this back in place. That kind of fits in there. Get my screw holes to line up silicone it back in place we have the valve on the outside a little white paint there would be nice but uh, that'll be done at a later date I guess and then I need to figure out my pipe on the top here I'll need to trim off I calculate probably two and three quarter inches which I have enough on the top to bring it down and the reason I put the valve way down there it would have been easier to put it up here but I thought if ever I um, forgot to open the valve while going to the bathroom, there wouldn't be a spill in here. It'd be enough. Hopefully the pipe would hold the volume um, rather than having the valve at the top. And then we have some overflowage. So just in case I put it as low as I possibly could. Okay, I have the valve in place. This uh, cap on the tank silicone back down and screwed in. My only issue is the curve of this arm it closes but it doesn't quite close all the way it springs back a little bit you can see I could take off some more material then it might be hard to grab though what I'm gonna do is I have a heat gun here I'm gonna try and heat this up and flatten it or maybe even reverse it a little bit and we'll see what I can do oh the heat gun worked perfectly and pull it out it's a little bit hard to grab but not bad and uh, closes all the way it stays closed so now I got to figure out my upper pipe here double check my length give it a trim and uh, we're almost back in action that kind of actually blocks up the hole pretty good doesn't look too bad trial fit of the diverter so that sits in there nice I got the height right now trimmed to Close to two inches off of that. I don't have it glued in yet to the valve. And then I'll have to put my little strap on there. It's a piece of strapping to hold it in place. But uh, yeah, I think I'm ready to glue. There is the completed setup. All glued together. 
I got my clamp back in right there, just a piece of strapping. Everything's glued. Lines up with the diverter seat. And then we have our valve that we close when we're not using it. And that should take care of any sewer gas issues we've been having, hopefully. And if you followed our first toilet video where we put the fan trying to do deal with the gases that way, sorry, didn't work. But we try different things. Sometimes things work, sometimes they don't. But as another YouTube channel, Ambition Strike says, this isn't a how to do it channel. It's a how we do it channel. Future Gord here. We've been on the road for about a month now since I put that valve in on the composting toilet. It is working just like we had dreamed it should. No vent smells. Everything's just perfect now. Um, if you're planning on building yourself a composting toilet, that is the way to do it. Put a valve in the P-tube. As far as I'm concerned, toilet perfection. Now my wheels in motion and my